Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much again for stopping by. The Filipina tune-up versus scopolamine. And the winner is, let's talk about that today. You know, we had a lively members only live stream yesterday and we were talking about scopolamine and what's going on in Colombia. And all these tourists are being drugged and robbed. Many of them are dying. And if you don't know what scopolamine is, it's really, a, it's a legitimate drug. And it has medicinal, medicinal, uh, you know, qualities. Uh, it's a real medicine that they prescribe it for motion sickness. But they, there's some sinister uses that, uh, a lot of the prostitutes and criminal gangs are using in South America. Uh, recently, an American businessman, uh, a millionaire, by the way, was drugged and murdered on his first night in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And I was thinking, man, if if that ever gets over here to the Philippines, God help us. You know, we'll be, we'll be in big trouble. And we were just talking about it, and, you know, TJ said, uh, it'll never get to the Philippines. They're not sophisticated enough to use it. And I looked it up. Actually, scopolamine is in the Philippines. Okay, but I thought to myself, well, hell, they don't need it. Because what scopolamine does, you know, they put it in the drink, or they blow it in your face. You go out for two or three days. You come to, all your money's gone. Or you go to the ATM machine, give them your PIN number voluntarily, well, involuntarily, because you're under drugs, and, you know, they rob you. But over here, they don't need it. Men are fully conscious and in their right state of minds and handing over their life savings and also their PIN numbers because of the Filipina tune-up, which is just as deadly is that scopolamine. How many men have committed financial suicide over here? How many men have been murdered financially over here because of the Filipino tuna with a free oil change and lube job? They simply wrap their legs around you and you're done. But scopolamine is over here, but these women don't need it, man. No matter what, all the talk about all oh, men staying single. I saw that video by Mark Thornton. It was a great video, by the way. It, you know, it went viral. And a couple of other big vloggers are, uh, you know, they're reacting to it. He makes some great points about why older men are staying single, but it doesn't apply in the Philippines. They're not staying single over here, Mark. I think you know that. And that's why the Filipino tune-up is so effective. No matter all the bad things that were said and all the reasons that were given on that video about me, why men don't want women, they still end up with a woman over here. It's just one of those things where you can't live with them, you can't live without them. But I want to give a shout-out to DC Rob because, you know, he's got a channel. He, he mostly... He's a vlogger, too, but he's mostly in South America, in Central America, I like that. You know, he does the same things we do over here. And he puts out a lot of great information because we were talking about as much information as it is out there about scopolamine, why are these guys still going over there and becoming victims? What's the same reason that people become victims of the Filipino tune-up over here. Look at all the information we give y'all about the Filipino tune-up over here. It's because you're not listening. We're grown men and we think, oh, I'm not listening. Nothing Sunshine Show has said or any of these other vloggers say. I can handle it. You can't handle it, man. You know, I, I don't know if I told y'all about the damn American. I believe I did on one of my videos where he comes over here. Well, he didn't even come over here. He was talking to a damn picture online and gave the woman $12,000. Uh, you know, um, Rafi Tufo saved his ass. You know, there was no 
scopolamine involved in that. We're fully conscious and in our right minds doing stupid shit like that. And I don't care how many times you talk about it, over and over and over, we're going to do it. It's just the same way. Imagine this guy was a millionaire from America. His first night in Rio de Janeiro, de Janeiro Brazil, they drug him and he dies. They, they overdose. There's a video, if you don't know anything about scopolamine, go on YouTube, man. There's a lot of videos, but one particular one, it's a good one. I wanted to put it in my link. I couldn't find it. Where after this man died, there was a reporter who went there and he was talking to the people who use it. And she just had a look pebble. She said this pebble can uh, knock out three men for two to three days. But you got to know what you're doing. She said because if you put too much in there, you're going to overdose them and they'll die. Well, he asked her, he said, have you killed anybody? She said, I hope not, but I probably have. I mean, it's a, it's a problem, guys. Okay? A big, big problem. But the Filipino tune-up is just as big of a problem. We think it's not going to happen to me. I can handle it. These little province women and these little poverty-stricken women, what can they do to me? I was the police chief. Don't they know who I am? I'm a millionaire. I'm whatever it is. You have no hope, guys, if you don't listen. So the video today is the Filipino tune-up versus scopolamine. And the winner is, I'm going to give it to, I'm going to say it's a toss-up. Okay? Because both of them are doing damage to men. And yes, scopolamine is in the Philippines. They just aren't using it. They don't need to use it. Why would they do something criminal when they getting all your money legally? Wrap them damn legs around your neck and you're done. You know, it don't matter what we say about women in the Philippines. You're going to end up with somebody. The older men aren't staying single over here, brother. I hate to tell you that. Every bad thing we said. Single mothers, whatever it was, that Filipino tune-up is going to get you, man, if you're not listening. I got an email from a guy today, man, and he's, you know, he's sad. He said, man, you know, he's never been over here. He sent the woman several thousand dollars, and she called him the N-word several times, and she didn't ghosted him. He says, oh, she doesn't care anything about me. Obviously, she doesn't. Okay, and he was just smitten by the potential of the Filipino tune-up, guys. We got to wake up. We got to wake up. It's story after story after story. I don't even want to get in there. I don't even want to bore you. I wish some of these other vloggers would, be, would start talking about it. But it don't matter. The Filipino tune-up is the scopolamine in the Philippines. There's no need to knock your ass out. When you voluntarily giving in your pen, when you voluntarily sending money over here, thousands and thousands of dollars, when you voluntarily signing over your life savings, why do you need to knock you out? So thank y'all so much for stopping by. And I want to give a shout out to the gentleman who, the gentlemen, three guys, they sent a donation for the for the burn victims here, uh, we bought shampoo, toothpaste, uh, soap, laundry detergent, and rice. Plus, we're going to give them a bunch of used clothes. We're going to take it over there today. We're not, not trying to do anything big and fantastic. We just want to let the people know we care. And we're thinking about them in their time of need. So if you're in America, in the Philippines, wherever you are, find it in your heart to help somebody. Not a day goes by we don't help somebody. We spin the wheel last night. They haven't come forward yet. And I usually give them a day or two. If they don't, I just give the money away to attack a tricycle driver. If I see a family on the street. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. Don't do anything stupid. Stop sending your money to women you never met. And even if you met them. I mean, have some common sense. If you met them, then you know you don't have to send them thousands and thousands of dollars.
For what? What are they going to do with it? Squander it? The guy sent the woman so much money, she was able to quit her OFW job in Hong Kong and move back to the Philippines. Call him an N-word, by the way. See, that's what burns me up. Because y'all won't listen. He claims that he follows me. Well, if you follow me, I already told you. Don't send a damn peso. 